Hi, I'm Arloa and welcome to Color Touch TV. Did you know we have a handy computer app that gives you complete control over your Color Touch? With the Color Touch Assistant, you can turn your Color Touch into a digital picture frame and control your settings from the convenience of your computer, then transfer those settings to the Color Touch. However, the most innovative feature of the Color Touch Assistant software is it makes sure your Color Touch has the latest operating system installed with all the latest features and fixes every time you use it. If you haven't already done so, download and install the Color Touch Assistant by visiting venstar.com. This app works on both Windows and Mac computers. The other thing you need is an SD card to transfer your preferences from the Color Touch Assistant to the Color Touch. Now that you have your app installed and an SD card ready, let's get started. To launch the Color Touch Assistant, click on the Color Touch Assistant icon. Once the Color Touch Assistant opens, you will see the home screen with four different options the new thermostat configuration, the option to open an existing configuration that you have saved on your computer. The import thermostat configuration is great for when you want to edit a configuration that you already have on your SD card. And last, a help screen that shows various tips on using the Color Touch Assistant. For this tutorial, we will focus on the first option, New Thermostat Configuration. Click on this and let's get started. Select the thermostat model you have. In my case, I have the residential model, so I'll click on this one. On the left hand side, you'll see a picture of the Color Touch and underneath, options for choosing the style of the front plate. I have the white one, so I'll choose that one. This will help when previewing and setting up your photo gallery and screensaver. On the right hand side, there are five options. The picture gallery, dealer information, schedule, thermostat settings, firmware. Let's start with the picture gallery. Click on this and you'll be presented with a screen that allows you to add and edit photos to turn your color touch into a digital picture frame. Click on the Add button and navigate to the folder where your pictures are stored. For this example, I'll use pictures of my pets. Select the photos you want to use and press Open. Now your images will begin to process. Once they're done, you can now edit the photos. If you look at the first picture, my dog Houdini is sideways. With the Color Touch Assistant, this is an easy fix. First, I need to select his photo, then click the Edit icon. Across the bottom of the screen are the different adjustments you can make to your photos. Let me start by rotating the picture. Select Rotate. 90 degrees. But now we have these gray bars on either side, so let's zoom in a little. Select Zoom and slide to the right until the picture fills the entire frame. Okay, awesome, but now his head is out of the frame. All we have to do here is select the Move button and now we can drag him around until it looks great. You can also change the color properties by selecting color. Okay, I think it looked better the way it was, so by hitting this little icon, you can reset the photo to its original colors. But I think it could be a little brighter. By selecting the Bright icon, I can adjust the brightness of the image. Perfect. Now all I do is hit Apply, and my photo settings are saved. Now if you look over to your left, there are other options you can set on your Color Touch. Dealer information, which we don't need to worry about. Schedule is the time period function. With this screen, you can program your Color Touch to have different temperature settings at different times of the day. If you would like more information on how to set this up, be sure and watch our episode on time period. Thermostat setting allows you to set various options such as vacation mode and security. We've also covered those in other episodes, so check those out if you want to learn more about that. The great thing about the Color Touch Assistant is you can program your entire thermostat from your computer and transfer those settings to the Color Touch. The last option is this screen, which shows you what version of the firmware is installed and its release notes. Each time you launch the Color Touch Assistant to manage your photos or configure your Color Touch settings, the Color Touch Assistant software will automatically check to see if there are any new firmware updates. If there are updates, the software will automatically download them. When you transfer your new pictures or settings to your Color Touch, your firmware will also be updated. It's a good idea to launch your Color Touch Assistant every few weeks to check and see if there are updates. Once you're done creating all of your settings, select the Save to SD Card button and hit OK. It will start the export. And when it's finished, 
Hit OK and you're ready to import into the Color Touch. Now that you have all of your photos on your SD card, all you have to do is insert the card into this slot on the side of the Color Touch. As you're inserting the card, make sure this little notch is on top as you insert it. Slide it all the way in and it will lock into place. The final step is to import your settings into the Color Touch. The first thing I want to show you is how to import the settings from the SD card into the Color Touch. Start by hitting the menu button, then the down arrow, and now press the settings icon. The third option down is SD card. This is the one we want. Press that to go into the SD card options. Here you have two options, import settings and export settings. Choose export settings if you want to export your existing settings on the Color Touch in order to edit the settings on your Color Touch Assistant software. Since we are importing our photos, we want to choose import settings by pressing this button. Next, you'll be presented with this screen. This gives you the option to import all of your settings or individual settings. For this tutorial, I just need to import my photos, so I'll select only the custom images. Hit next and you'll see a warning screen that you are about to overwrite your existing settings. If this is okay, press yes. Now the images will import into the color touch. Once it's finished, you'll see this screen. Press OK, and then press the home icon. Now, let me show you how to turn your color touch into a digital picture frame by enabling the screensaver. Press menu, then the screensaver icon. To turn your screensaver on, press this button. Now let's check out some of the settings. The first option is to set how long you want the color touch to wait before starting the screensaver. I think one minute is long enough. Press back. Next, choose screensaver type. If you want to use your own photos, make sure slideshow is selected here. Okay, great. Now press back. Now let's set up how long we want each photo to display before it transitions to the next photo. Press this button. I'm going to go with 15 seconds. Press back. If you'd also like to show the clock as one of the screens on your slideshow, make sure Show Clock is on like it is here. Press back. The last step is to preview your screensaver. Now your color touch is a digital picture frame. Press home and you're all done. The great thing about the Color Touch Assistant is that you can update your settings anytime you want by simply repeating these steps. If you have any questions, visit our website at venstar.com. I'll see you next time on Color Touch TV.